It'll go, man. It'll go. It'll go. My name is HW. Thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. Today we are talking about, we well, can read it right there, lots of verb. We're talking about lots of verb, what I think about using lots of verb, man, on Sunday morning, or just for like, you know, ambient music, soundscapes. Maybe you just want to write a cool, beautiful ballad. You want to take the place of a keyboard player. You can do all that, lots of verb. But today specifically, I want to talk about stacking reverbs because stacking reverbs has kind of an art to it. So let me explain kind of how I view this. I look at getting a big, beautiful ambient reverb sound as needing two things. We need to both sustain and echo the note that we, we've played on the guitar. We need to sort of make it, make it trail off and last. So we need length. So delay is going to help us with that. And we also need sort of a some sort of a sound generator. Um, we don't always need a sound generator, but I'm going to show you what it's like with and without with and without a quote unquote sound generator. Uh, and then, of course, you need something. Um, you know, you need reverb, right? And reverb can be the sound generator or not the sound generator. But I'm going to show you how stacking reverbs, how what you can do is use a type of sound generator effect. And then also use um, uh, a more natural reverb that gives you a far away feel. So let's get into it. So here's my uh, here's my absolute clean sound with this Strat. It's a twin reverb. Uh, this is a free download on the Kemper Tips and Tricks website. It sounds like this. <laughs> Dang, man, that sounds like a twin reverb, doesn't it? I mean, that sounds like a good twin reverb, let me just tell you. Um, all right, first things first. I have four effects here. First one I'm gonna talk about is a two-tap delay. Sounds like this. Now, all it's doing here, you're just hearing quarters. I'm sorry, you're hearing eighths. I'm looking at the tap, it's, you're hearing eighths. Now I've got one set to quarter, one set to eighth, and that means that the eighths will go, but the quarter gives me a longer length on the feedback. Um, you can tap in whatever you want. The actual subdivisions of these delays won't matter. Now I'm going to add a second delay. And you can hear those going everywhere. Now, you, it, like I said, it doesn't matter. We just need length. We can change this one to a dotted eighth. Listen to this. Why not? You can change one of the other quarters. The point is, and it probably will actually help you to have different subdivisions, but the point is you just need a lot of stuff going on, right? You need to hear this. So that way you can kind of hear how that's going to that's gonna help our sound. It's almost kind of verby already and we have no reverb. And that, that my friends, is a very cool trick. Now, let's turn those off for a minute and let's talk about the main sensation or the main verb. For me, the, my main ambient reverb is gonna be this one right here. It's a natural verb and I've got it turned way up and it sounds like this. There's already some stuff on there. There's some reverse and things. I can take you through that. The mix I have at almost, uh, you know, the the, rev the reverb itself is is uh, actually uh, louder than the guitar, um, and that's that's good. We want that. Um, it's a little bit louder than the guitar, not much. I still want to hear the guitar. Um, I've got it fairly dark. I've got some modulation, some uh, early diffusion in there. And you can kind of hear um, with, with a lot of pre-delay that we're getting a good amount of, there is some sound generating type stuff in there. There's kind of a pad effect. Mm -hmm. 
you heard the buzz there too, but you can hear the note just keeps going and you hear that verb. Now let's talk about my other reverb because we're going to stack two of them. So it's this reverb, it's the ionosphere reverb, and I've turned off all the format controls. And uh, um, I have the decay time set for uh, 135 seconds. That is ridiculous. Um, and uh, the mix, it's the, the verb is as loud as the initial guitar. So it's going to sound like this. You can take that attack time down or up, depending on when you want to hear that kind of come in. Um, I'm going to take it down so you can hear it come in real fast. So I still have a lot of clarity, a lot of definition on the guitar, but what I really like is this sort of sound generator keeps going. And I can roll it up, I can roll it down, I can do whatever. But what it helps me do is it helps me come over here, hit reverb, and now I can have these two reverbs together. And that's gonna sound like this. Now we're getting that big, lost in space, goes on forever kind of verb that we get from the ionosphere, but now it also sounds like it's in an enormous cavern. And so that really becomes an out of this world sound. And that just, it just goes and goes and goes, and it's beautiful. Um, that is really something that's difficult to get out of one reverb algorithm, um, in my opinion, getting both the sound generation um, of sort of the ionosphere and the sort of actual feel that you're in a physical space, that you are somewhere sort of unearthly, you know, but it also, but it tells the ear you're somewhere bigger than you've ever been, and I think that's important. Now you add in the delays, and now you're gonna get that beautiful big sound at the front. <laughs> Now you can hear how long that verb goes. And one of the ways you can sort of combat that, if you, if you hit a bad note, it's gonna be there for a while. But one of the ways you can sort of tame that verb, uh, maybe you want it to stop sooner when you stop playing, come under the ionosphere and come in here and we're going to find the ducking control. Don't turn it to any other number but zero, but turn it just down slightly from zero and you'll get negative zero. Negative zero is a slight ducking effect that when you pull your hand away, um, when you stop inputting signal into the pickups and into the Kemper, you will get sort of a cease of the ionosphere. That's not going to stop the delays in the other verb, but it is going to stop some of that sound generation, and that's where we're getting a lot of our length. So check this out now. Now it's a lot easier to control. Let me put it back and you'll hear. See, look, even when I switch back, it's still going. You can hear that ionosphere continue to generate sound. That may be what you want and maybe not what you want. Just by putting in a slight ducking, now you get, you get to be able to control it a little better.
now it pulls back very quickly. You could easily add ducking to the other effects as well to make that even more dramatic. Um, but this is kind of how I like it. Um, it allows me to just have a very large, enormous reverb when I'm playing the guitar. And when I stop playing the guitar because a piece is over, I don't have this overly long trail. I, I find that especially useful in church if I'm be the person playing over someone praying or, or something like that or a speaker, whatever. Sometimes there's there's moments there or, or, or whatever. Or even you're just creating a little soundscape or you just want to exit the stage, whatever. You have a little more control over when the piece of music ends and I really like that. But you having but you have seemingly infinite, you know, length for the rest of the verb. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put it on here. You guys can download this it's called Lots of Verb, and um, this is how I stack reverbs. How I look at um, getting huge, big ambient tones. I want something that makes me feel like I'm in another space. For that, I like a giant hall. I need some sort of a sound generator. That could be a cloud, or um, in this case, the ionosphere. You know, the cloud is on the uh, uh, the big sky. Um, there's all sorts of black hole. Um, on the H9s and the Eventide stuff. And then I find it's very helpful if you give yourself some delays to sort of give you all that effect. You can come in here and you can turn on, you know, a uh, chorus and, and some uh, um, harmonizer or uh, uh, octave and you get this thing. <laughs> I've been HW. Thanks so much for watching Tundra TV. That is an absolute a beautiful effect. Um, you could you could you could make a living off that kind of effect right there. Here we go.